for the sign of Libra. Hello and welcome to my channel. We have the Fool card and it's paired with the King of Cups. Now the Fool card, it's about newness in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates the purity and open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child. We all know that children, their trusting and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. This is usually considered a positive card, but there could be one thing. It's important to take time to make sure that you're looking where you're going. Because if you trust yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But doing so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. And you can't really see this card that well, not unless you're close up. But this young man looks like he's just having a great time. And he's got this open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child. It's just fell upon him for some reason. And he's walking. It looks like he could be in the mountain somewhere. And he's about to walk right off of a cliff. And what's below him, it looks like the Atlantic Ocean. Some type of huge ocean. And that's where he's about to land. So it's about be, being trusting, but just make sure you be careful about where you're going. Okay? Now, it's with this King of Cups. The King of Cups, it speaks about a balanced male and feminine energy. It holds positive qualities, masculine and feminine. Often, it indicates an actual man in your life. Usually, he'll represent, when it represents a live person, it's, rever it's referring to a very kind and loving man. Yeah, very kind, loving, supportive. Um, he'll usually have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. Light hair, like uh, light eyes, but it could go either way. Just know with this King of Cups showing up in your reading, that you are being supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. Now, this King of Cups represents, like I said, kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is when you get this card. So nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. Okay, so, if there's some single Libras out there, just a side note for single Libras, with this King of Cups, it's indicating that someone who is very balanced, and someone is, who's very loving, they're coming in, they're headed your way. So someone could be coming towards you like this, Libras, okay, if you're single. Like I said, that's just a side note for any single Libras that are listening. But basically for your present time, full card and the King of Cups. So, there's someone coming in, like I said. Or you could be dealing with someone who's very um, loving and very compassionate. And it's going to make you really happy, with, and it's going to make you feel like a child again. Um, and very trusting. Yeah, so it's going to make you feel really good, because this person will be really warm and friendly. This could be someone that you know already. Okay, they're very warm, very tolerant, very kind. And like I said, it's going to make you feel like you can trust in people again. And like I said, there could be one thing though, you got to be careful with this open hearted energy. Because you'll be feeling so good and you'll just be ready to just leap right into whatever. Just make sure you're watching where you're going, Libras. I wouldn't want you to land in um, the Atlantic Ocean or wherever, whatever ocean it looks like he's about to land into. So that's just a little side note. Because you're going to be feeling really good and you're going to want to just jump right in. You could just want to jump right into this person because you've never met someone so warm, 
but just be careful where you where you where you leap so that's what we got for the present time not bad not bad at all now if you're dealing with someone let's take a look at how they see you they see you like the sun card and the nine of pentacles now the sun card it's about things going well for you your finances they are likely to be in good shape that doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important. And money is probably not very high on the list for some Libras. And for most of us it is. But when you get the Sun card, it explains that, what I just said. This is a good time to socialize, meet new people and usually get out usually get out and about but we all know we can't do that these days so try to do it online put get some pretty pictures and post them yeah there's social media we all know that that's a good way to meet people and when you get the sun card it's a good time to do that and if you're looking for a new job this card is it's showing that it's right around the corner she's working not playing she's working if you can see the picture but uh, if you're in a committed relationship um, with the Sun card you too might need some space yeah this is not a time to be whining clink whiny clingy or needy and that's what the Sun card says about relationships okay it also says that um, you add bright and happy times to your person's life and you add sunshine. So this is how they see you, Libras. Your person sees you like this. Okay, so you add a lot of sunshine to their life. But it's, it's with the Nine of Pentacles. It's clarified with this card, which is one of the most uplifting and encouraging cards in the tarot. This means that your financial worries are over and that things will be going better than you thought possible. So make sure you try to enjoy this good energy and share your wealth and happiness with others. And this is how they see you also. The Sun card and the Nine of Pentacles. So you're there bright and happy. You had a lot of um, sunshine to their life. And... Yeah, with this Nine of Pentacles, like I said, this is one of the most uplifting cards in the tarot. They're very happy with you. Very happy. They enjoy you. They enjoy being with you. Um, you're very encouraging to them. And with this card, this Nine of Pentacles, it's showing that this connection could rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. And that's how they see you. So let's take a look at how you see them, Libra. You see them as this emperor, and you see them as a star card. Now the emperor, it's an interesting card. It's about domination over the mind, over the heart, and it's sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. So when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. The emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is the time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertive, so enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that the self-controlled focus brings. Forge ahead and do what you know is best. If you can master yourself, then you should have little problem mastering most of the other ab obstacles that life might throw at you. Now you ask yourself, what did I just say? Let me explain that to you. The emperor, he's one that does not use his heart. He does not use his heart. He does not want to come across as vulnerable. This type of person could be a boss, a leader, 
very arrogant. He does not use his heart. He only uses his head. <laughs> so you, um, it's showing that you see a person like this. And you also see them as a star card. Now the star card, it's about feeling inspired and more hopeful about the future than you have felt that way in a while. More hopeful about the future than you have in a while. You're feeling really inspired. And you'll feel more confident that your needs are being met. Emotional, financial, both. They're being met. Or you'll feel that way. Just keep in mind, nothing can be taken for granted, but it's unlikely, like I said, your confidence will not be, your confidence, confidence will not be misplaced. This is also a spiritual card. You could find yourself feeling, at least for a time, at one with all of creation. It's not a common feeling, so make sure that you savor it. So, you see your person as the emperor and the star, and so, with this star card, you see them rejuvenated, okay? And very hopeful. You see them having a lot of faith. There's some renewed hope. Mm, with the star card, it could be some type of grief that they had from the past. It's released. And it brings about a lot of confidence and inspiration. So, you see them very confident about this connection. Any grief that they had about it, it's gone. Um, they're focusing on the hope. They're more hopeful about this connection. But you wouldn't know it though. You wouldn't know it because they don't express themselves. But I'm here to tell you, they, they're very inspired about you, Libra, your person. Um, they're renewed. Any problems that you guys had? They may seem like it bothers them, but they let it go. Any grief that they had that came about from you or this connection, they let it go. They see you as, the, as their star. Their shining star. So, they're very hopeful about you and this connection. They have a lot of faith that this connection is going to make it. But, like I said, because the Emperor is here, they'll never let you know that. They don't use their heart. They only use their head. Okay, so I'm here to tell you this person is, is very hopeful about you. And you give them a lot of hope. You make their days um, feel rejuvenated. They've got faith now. But like I said, you wouldn't know that because they don't, they don't tell you. They don't express themselves. But that's how they're feeling. They feel really good about you. And that's how you see them. But that's probably, don't, that's probably how you don't know. <laughs> That's probably what you don't know about them. Okay, but I'm here to tell you. They're not going to tell you, though. But that's how you see them. Okay, so let's take a look at why it's happening. It's happening because of this Five of Pentacles and the King of Swords. <laughs> wow, the King of Swords is interesting. Because he's a lot like this Emperor. So you got that really strong in this reading, Libra. You got someone who doesn't really express themselves. Okay, so let's start with this Five of Pentacles. Now the Five of Pentacles 
It points to a time when life could be feeling less than secure. The important thing to do is remember that you have help. Help is available when we need it, from forces seen and unseen. You could feel alone, but you have the capacity to change that. Reach out. You also could be feeling left out in the cold, as though everyone else in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. Realize this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do, if you need help, is to go ask for it. Help you need will come. So this Five of Pentacles is not a very happy indicator when it comes to relationships and love. Okay, not it's not really happy. Not good. And then it's with this King of Swords. It's about a forceful, opinionated man. Very forceful, very sharp, harsh, could be very arrogant and cold. Kind of like that Emperor. Now, if this is you, Libra, you may be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally. If this card is not representing the actual man in your life, so you might want to consider the feelings of others before you act. Like I said, this King of Swords is about a very forceful energy. You may not be able to get this man in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. Okay? Uh, you may need to change something major about your behavior. Yeah. Or expectations. But don't over don't overextend your reach. So, why it's happening? Five of Pentacles and King of Swords. This King of Swords is known as a narcissist. Believers, are you dealing with a narcissist? It's pretty heavy in this reading. So, someone's got you feeling, well, not someone, this narcissist has got you feeling left out in the cold. Um, there could be some mistreatment going on here. Yeah, mistreatment. Um, yeah, the narcissist is very forceful. They, they, um, they could be worse than this emperor, but you got, you got, um, you got it both in this reading. The narcissist is um, this king of swords. They, like I said, they use force. They're very opinionated. Their words can be really harsh. And then it's with the Five of Pentacles. They they got you feeling like you're left out in the cold. If you can see this picture, this lady, she's walking. Looks like she's either coming out of this door or she's, someone's pulling her away from the door. Like, don't go in there. And the dog is even barking at her. He's barking at her. Uh, yeah, so she's feeling really bad. Yep, you may have your eye on someone who you feel is not treating you the way that they should. And it looks like it's this, this King of Swords. Now, basically for this reading, we have the present time, whereas there's someone very loving, this King of Cups we talked about very loving and compassionate and it makes you feel real good this could be you this could be you Libra very um, feeling very loving kind and compassionate and just feeling happy and just wanting to take a leap on life this could be you or someone coming towards you like this okay um, and it's making you feel like a child again. Okay, but then we talked about how your how your person sees you. You add sunshine to their life. And with the Nine of Pentacles, um, uh, the connection moves to new heights of intimacy and joy. So they see you in a really great way. Um, with this Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is good. It's just short of one pinnacle. Okay, so they see you really great. Like I said, you're their happy sunshine. 
Um, and you see them as they don't express themselves. They're cold hearted. Well, they just don't. They're cold hearted because of the King of Swords. But with the Emperor, they don't tell you that uh, anything loving. Uh, so you don't know how they feel. Yeah, the Emperor, they rather have you die wanting to know. You'll never know how they feel about you. But because they're with the Star card, we talked about that one. They, um, they're not holding anything against you from the past, whatever happened. Because, like I said, um, you rejuvenate them. You give them a renewed hope. So you're good for them. And that's how you see them, but they don't express themselves. Now, why this is all happening is because a lot of times they make you feel left out in the cold. They use a lot of force with you. And they could be over harshly opinionated. And it makes you feel really bad. Yeah, makes you feel really bad. But just know that you do give them a lot of hope okay they just don't express themselves and they a lot of times they probably just don't know how to treat you with this king of swords and it makes you feel mistreated there could be some abuse here but um, you are their star even though they don't treat you like you think they should and it's interesting because you see them as um that's pretty good though like they add you see them as adding sunshine no they see you as adding i'm getting the words mixed up they see you as adding sunshine to their life they see you adding sunshine and happy to their lives and you see them as really cold forceful okay so let me just add this for why it's happening it could also go because your person or you I'm picking up it's them though. They're making you feel left out in the cold and mistreated. And you could be the one who's turning around, becoming forceful, and just cutting it out. So it could go it could go either way, but I'm picking up that it that it's them making you feel left out in the cold, alone, and that they're the one who's being forceful and mistreating you that's what I'm picking up but sometimes the roles can be reversed so just take it for whatever way you know is is best but um, that's what I have for you Libras I hope you enjoyed this reading um, as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone then again if you like this reading um, you might want to hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading please comment subscribe uh, like I said hit the notification bell if that's what you care to do I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over much more such as how you feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen in the future for the two of you, for the next, well, not the future, but for the next uh, few weeks, for the two of you, what will happen, what will happen, what will happen, what will happen.